Hello everyone, welcome to Heroes of Terador. I'm Kelly the Dungeon Master, and with me tonight, we have Frank as Pachi, the Baron Ranger. We've got Connor as Orbo Whipperwoods, the Forge Druid. Ooh. We have Andy as Gronson Halfholm, the Gory Fighter. Oh. And Jill as Edhara, the Lycan Paladin. Let's Hello. see. So last, where we last left off, we had uh, a bunch of weird things happening. Uh, it was tea time, so we hung out at Cimarron Court. Um, at the court, um, they the the party sat through a the entire morning session. Uh, since they got early uh, access with Kant, they were able to speak what they wanted to uh, before all the rest of the denizens of uh, the court kind of came in and started talking. Um, so, things that... Uh, I'll, let, I'll let someone else kind of uh, glean information from what you guys found, uh, just because obviously, uh, being the DM, I know all of the things that happened, so I'll let someone else kind of speak to that. Um, does anyone want to volunteer for that? I wasn't allowed last time. All right, that's that's right. Well, since you kept doing it, so I'll let you go this time. It's only fair. All right, we told him there was a big spooky lich under the big spooky tree, and nobody believed us. So we were like, well, we have, like, magical proof. And then we proved it, and they're like, all right, we'll give you our worst soldiers. And then we were like, can you guys cure Chad Hara's death curse? And they were like, nah, maybe. And then uh, we went to, like, the magical investigation room. And they, you know, they scanned her in the med bay or whatever. And they were like, we can do our best. And I said, well, if you don't cure her, you don't get the eyeball of Aquafina. And that made Cloudfin or whatever his name is, that made him, like, feel tingly downstairs. He got pretty bummed out about that. So we said, uh, we want to save Pachi's kids, do something about the lich. Because they were like, you probably shouldn't try and kill him. Uh, and we wanted to, so yeah, cure Chadhara, save Pachi's kids, deal with the Lich, and then we give them the eyeball because we didn't want to deal with it anyway. But we didn't tell them that. And I left the eye with Chadhara because that way, if she turns out good, she can hand over the eye and it's sort of like we'll pay them halfway. And Orbo got confused that other, uh, what's my race called? Uh, you are forged. Aaron. No, forged, yeah. Okay, forged. Yeah, he was confused that every forge in the world isn't some variation of Orbo. So, that was also That's the right. thing. Because you did meet um, someone named Silverell. Yeah, his name was like Silverell, and I was like, you mean Sorbo? And he's like, no. I was like, what the fuck? Sorbo. <laughs> and Pachi didn't participate because Pachi hates the government. And also because they made fun of the guards, and Pachi's a member of the guards. Yeah, someone spoke out against that. I can't remember who did. Was it Gronson or Orbo? I think that I spoke out against some of it, but in a very diplomatic tone. Yeah, basically they were saying, hey, we have this mission where a bunch of our knights are missing. We should send more in. Oh, that's right. And, uh, yeah. They, they kind of unanimously agreed to it, um, except for Orbo and Gronson, who were like, wait a minute, they died Not a good idea. last time. What's stopping this next group from dying that again? That's was they insulted the scouts, and then Frank was like, I'm a scout. And we were like, you oh, know yeah, that's what it was. Poor scouts. How it is. All the scouts just dying off. Yeah. And then there were some other side conversations that happened. Um, I don't know if you guys remember them or not. I met a girl. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, you met a girl? Yeah, there was the lady wizard beside me who was like, I'm not voting for this. And I was like, I won't vote for it neither. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. Oh, yeah. And we told them about our, all of our adventures. I let them read my brain instead yes, of having to explain things to them. <laughs> they insulted my people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They they were trash talking the scouts, which is not allowed. Completely. They talk for a bunch of wizards who sit in a room and vote all day. 
Yeah, it was tea time with the with the wizards. No respect. All right. They had no respect for human decency or life. That was for well, sure. No respect for them neither. So it all worked out. They're pawns. So yeah, Edhara, you are still in the council building. Um, you are with Alindra, who has currently kind of sedated you temporarily while you're whilst he's trying to uh, undo the death curse that is on you. Um, the curse, if I can find Oh, yeah, you're on death. Yes. Uh, so they figured out what the curse was, and I have to go to Lich to find it, because I don't remember it off the top of my head. I'll... I'll uh, Acid, so you can kind of get more info on what it was. It is level service. I think that did it. Did it do it? Yes. There you go. That's right. So that is what you've been cursed with. Uh, Alindra is a druid, Dad. and so she knows a lot about reviving and bringing things back from the dead. And so she is kind of undergoing that transformation for you now. Um, so while while Adhar is getting administered, the rest of the party has headed or is heading to Drywell. I these kids. Yeah, heading to Drywell to to get uh, the knights or the uh, the Cimarron Guard members, and then I guess. Once that's done, everyone will do whatever the heck they want. We'll go from there. Yes. All right, so um, we'll start there uh, with the group of Pachi, Gronson, and Orbo um, mm -hmm. heading back to Drywell. So you've, you've, uh, you've reached Drywell. Um, it is still raining, but it's that's... Uh, obvious at this point because the eye is not far off it's in the in the castle still so uh yeah uh where would you guys like to go what would you like to do save pachi's kids obviously yeah we, we need to save pachi's kids yeah and He's burn down a tree then burn this whole city down <laughs> just burn everything down we burn it and um, yeah, I guess we're going to get the, the goon squad. Yeah, we need to go grab the uh, astral knights. There's the door. door is the door is here. Oh, well, what did I just go through? Window? Uh, window, yes. Which you yes. could do if you would like. I'm tempted, but not the <laughs> I'm Orbo, and I break through doors now. I um, could turn into like a bird and fly in the window. Tweet in somebody's <laughs> ear. Uh, no. as, as you enter the end, um, once more. Um, I am this weirdo. Yeah, the the guy at the the barkeep at the front uh, kind of looks up from his uh, scrawlings that he's always up to, and looks at you and says, "Ah, you again. Uh, welcome back. Can I get you a room, a food, some food, drink?" No, I'm here for my knights, and I point to my night buddies. All right, so they, uh, two of them are asleep, um, kind of like napping uh, at the table, and the third one, Royan, she's um, kind of like just fiddling around with uh, uh, some like coins that she has in the front. Uh, as she kind of, as she hears you walk in, she's uh, kind of excited and says, uh, oh, "Finally, can we get out of here?" Yes. Well, let's go. She turns yes. around and uh, kind of nudges the other two. All right, all right. They're done doing whatever they were doing with the weird mages. We can get out of here now. Yeah. The other two get up, and uh, they are ready to follow along. Nice. All right. And blow this popsicle stand. Oh, that was the best. <laughs> all right. Um, as you come out... Um, the knights follow along, and then uh, 
Silverick is going to kind of look at you guys and say, wait a second. Weren't you supposed to be getting reinforcements of some sort? We did. Where are they? Good question. Uh, do you know where <laughs> they are supposed to be? Where we are supposed to be? I thought they'd follow us here. I guess not. Well, no. I suppose we would... We can wait along, or we can, uh... Call out for someone? I'll look to the rest of my team for ideas. We could have someone send word to, uh... To the council to... To tell them to show up. By the end. Let's go to the barracks. Yeah, let's go to the barracks. All right, we can all go to barracks. All right. So the barracks is going to be inside the town. Um, and to your luck here, uh, as soon as you guys kind of head towards the um, barracks, the in interior of the, the city, um, off in the distance, let me move you guys. Uh, you do notice, we'll move everyone up here, kind of. Uh, you, you notice the camp. Uh, bringing a group of soldiers your way. Great. Uh, let's... Boom. There we go. I wish they could, like, move better than just suddenly appearing in the location. But whatever. Yeah, um, we have fully animated cutscenes, guy. Yeah, we need animated cutscenes. We need a full VR experience. Yeah. That's what I really Fully composited want. with, with, uh... A game engine, something like um, Unreal Five Jeez. with 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 RTX. Getting extra fancy. Um, let me grab that. Uh, yeah. So as as Camp comes up, he says, "Uh, well, that was easy to find you. Uh, here's the knights, as promised. Uh, Etaro should be." on his way soon, um, and, well, I wish you luck, and hopefully we meet again so that I can uh, put that artifact to a safe location, get rid of this damned rain. Wink. <laughs> uh, uh, Somewhere on guard, Captain. I served with him very long. <laughs> we we so, both. So, Pachi, do a, do, give, give me some history. Real quick. Let's see the how roll. well you know these people. I mean, Simran Guard Captain and I put a uh, petty thief behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you don't you don't recognize the captain, uh, but you do recognize the uh, one of the guardsmen. Um, this guard here is uh, an old friend of yours named Rybar. Old Rybar. And he old was, Rybar. Yeah, good old Rybar. Um, you both worked together in the past, but just small, small scouting missions. Nothing crazy or, or like scary. Just you know, checking out countryside, making sure that people were following the rules. Rybar uh, see, notices you and greets you, saying, uh, Ah, Pachi, been a while. Where are we going now? Hey, Orbo, where are we going? <laughs> the woods. The woods. The woods? Um, okay. Oh, uh, they didn't tell you there's like a lich down there we gotta kill or something. Yes. Also, my kids are there. Oh, yes. Like, which ones? All of them. All three you know of them? You mean all of them. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Well... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Uh, it's, how did they end up there? And, you know, the oldest... Uh, I parachute? Just... Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 
he t took the other two out, you know, to gather some fruit and stuff. You know, trying to teach the the family business of tracking and gathering. And they have been gone ever since. It was like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Well, we definitely need to head out. That doesn't sound good at all. And, uh... Your friend's over there. Um, he looks kind of like, not visibly, visibly disgusted, maybe, is, is a nice word. Um, oh. <laughs> he sees that, that they're astronauts and says, uh, and why are, why are they here? In case you guys didn't know. help. <laughs> Simmer on with the astral knights. Disgusting. Exactly. My thoughts... Exactly. But surely we can send them back to wherever they're supposed to be. We're gonna go fight a lich and you wanna send troops back. Well, if we're fighting with the lich, what good are they going to do? The sad thing is, if we're fighting a lich, what good are any of us do going to do? We need all the able bodies we can get. I mean, you guys find able bodies. You guys these knights a lot of respect. Without their help, we wouldn't have gotten the eye. The eye is the source of the problems, is what it sounds like. Yeah, why would you want the eye? I don't know, Kanth. Why would you want the eye? Kanth kind of looks nervously at everyone and says, "Look, it's <laughs> it's an ancient artifact. Okay, it's very, very dangerous, very important. Let's let's put things aside and." uh well, I'll leave you all to handle your differences and resolve this on your own. And he uh, kind of like backs away and starts heading back into the town. Everybody dislike that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate wizards. Uh, Rybar looks at you and kind of uh, nods and says, you can say that again. Well, but anyway, they're here to help. You're here to help. Let's all just be helpful. If you can get along for this one mission, then you can go on your separate ways between the uh, you three and and the other three. It, hey, we're getting paid. That's fine. We'll do it. Exactly. There we go. You guys are getting paid. <laughs> you think we're just going to come waltz in <laughs> for for nothing? I'm not risking my life without getting paid. That's what we do every day. <laughs> Sounds like the life of an adventurer. Adventurers are odd folks, that's for sure. Well, all right, anyway. let's quit jabber jawing and save my kids. All right. All right, so we'll jump to Edhara really quickly. Let's see if, uh, Jill, do you have enough internet we're back in business baby the internet's back hey super hey internet um yeah so after uh so you've been subdued for a little while um as you know they've been doing all of this uh you a few minutes later you awaken uh and there's kind of a, a sharp pain still in your in your chest but uh you do feel different in in a good way um, oh good as you open your eyes, um, ahead of you, you're, you notice that you're in the same uh, kind of magical circle that you were in before. Um, Alindra is uh, kind of facing away from you, working on uh, like a mortar and pestle and kind of uh, doing some kind of herbology behind you. Uh, she hasn't really noticed you yet, um, but Tren, who has been kind of patiently sitting down, watching you the whole time, um, notices you come come to and uh, kind of excitedly exclaims, he, he's awake. Do you? I'm awake. <laughs> how are you feeling? Uh, better, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to, you know, better in that, you know, I didn't realize I was, you know, undead for about a week. Almost a week, yeah, yeah. you know. So, yeah. I guess as, as better as one can feel. Lindra uh, looks and she says, ah, perfect, perfect. So, 
I have uh, some salve that I'm going to leave with you. Uh, the the process is working. You are doing better, but uh, okay. it's not going to be an overnight thing. That doesn't just magically you're fine and everything's good. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Every every six hours, you need to take this salve. If you don't, there are grave consequences. You got it, boss. <laughs> um, I, I'm. She's kind of uh, still messing around making making the salve, and says, uh, uh, it, "It's going to take about three days, but with those three days, as long as you keep taking this, you're perfectly fine." That uh, sounds great. Keep it safe, and well, go finish your unfinished business so that we can get our end of the deal complete. Yeah, hey, nothing would make me happier. <laughs> did I, did my friends tell me where they were going before I went on the sneaky time? Uh, Kanth said that they were going to meet in Drywell. Okay. I'm sure you have somewhere in mind in Drywell that you would know to meet up with them. Sure, okay. And I will head to dry well after I get that good, good uh, medicine. <laughs> All right. Good, good. We'll go ahead and move you back to dry well, and then we will get into. Uh, how do I make? I think I did it right. Did I do that right? Is everyone on the same? Like, I don't of... see my token. But I, I see the, I see the map. I should see. Okay. I do not see my token. There you go. Huzzah! Hello, friends. Huzzah! Hello. You are not dead. I'm you're not. not well, yeah, I'm not dead. It's and you're great. not undead. Yeah. It's pretty dope. I just Does that mean the this, curse is lifted? Well, I gotta put this medicine on every six hours for the next three days, but. Well, otherwise, we're good. That's much better. Let's just not have any liches touch us again. Hey, I did not ask him to touch me. I know, it was unprovoked. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we've now got full party. Sounds like you guys want to head straight to the woods once more. So, let's do that. Load map. Oh, so many tokens at this point. You guys have a small <laughs> army. This is good. Let's get these. We can never possibly lose now. I'll die in one hit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll still take him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three turns to kill all of us. That is hey, true. there we go. Including death saves? Think about the positives. <laughs> I just meant even with his legendary actions, he can only kill four of us. Unless oh, he drops I a fireball. Yeah, that's true. All right, so um, <laughs> as a team uh, kind of follows through the woods, uh, quite quite some time has passed. So, um, how much time? Let's see. So from Cimarron, I'm putting my shit on every six hours, like I need to. I'm following right. the rules. Um, here I'll do the map really quickly before we jump over there, and just so you can guys can get an idea of the time spent. Have we been um, walking the entire time? So yeah. Okay. So from Cimarron. You would have had to either gone here or here, and then back into the woods again. So that's two tiles. So we're looking at about 12 hours of walking um, to get into the woods. And then um, wandering through the woods would probably take a few more hours just to get you to where uh, thoroughly lost like you were before. Um, I'm guessing we did not pass by the broken remains of the last fort that the blue tail bandits had made. Um, so, yes, if you, I guess that's where I was going to go with that. Uh, which which one of these two paths were you intending on taking? 
Tuna Fish Bandit Woods. Okay. <laughs> We're going past the Tuna Fish Bandits. Back to the I want to get mugged by them again, and this time have a militia. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, uh, so that, oh, that pathway is still cleared out. The Okay. It looks so like... I'm back. Well, it does look like they did come back, but it looks like they came back to kind of clear out anything that was strewn about. Um, and the pathway is a bit clear. There's still some old, um, what do you call those, like spiked rampart things so that people mm-hmm. couldn't um, ride carts except for in certain ways. Uh, those have stayed there because they've been kind of entrenched. Uh, but all of the tents and uh, barrels and boxes and other items that they had um, that have been taken away and put away. So it's just kind of like a, an abandoned empty area where the camp used to be. So All I right. guess that's a good thing because uh, that is what you told them to do is like leave and never come back. And it, it seems that they have left and are not coming back. They came back. Well, okay. They came back to throw things away and then they, they broke their promise. If we see them again, they're dead on sight. <laughs> All right, I, I guess that's fair, maybe. I hope the dude got a new pet bird so I can eat that one, too. Just constantly eat his pet birds. Burn him down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, it's been about 12 hours. Um, it looks like everyone has done their resting. Uh, make sure that if you have any spells or the reset, we, you've had a long rest since then, um, and we haven't had a lot of combat at this point. Um, after after kind of wandering aimlessly in the woods as before, um, you do come across the um, abandoned building that was once there. Um, if you guys remember, if I can find it uh, near the side, here it is. Uh, there was a small house, I guess. Um, that you guys yes. found that was the Where the weirdo started motioning us for uh, for us to come hang out in the woods. Right, where there's like a dead person in the building um, and some notes and stuff. Yes, don't yeah. eat the food. Don't eat the fruit. Yeah. But yeah, we learned not to give fruit to the, the sick girl because it would turn into a spooky zombie. Yeah, it, it said this one here. That was it. Yes, eat the fruit. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> eat yeah. of the tree and know all. Um, so yeah, you, you walk past there and find your way to the tree once more. So we'll jump to that. And uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. What tell me what you would like to do, and uh, we'll go from there. Is it still raining? Uh, no. I should turn off the rain sounds. Shit. Nice. It should sound like this instead. Um, where is it? There we go. Oh, oh. nice. No rain, thank goodness. Yeah, and Harish finally. takes out his fur for the first time in ages. Just big dog shaking it. <laughs> <laughs> no more rain, finally. That should have been the name of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> no more rain. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you come across the tree. Uh, this time, there are no hooded figures. Uh, there's still kind of fruit on the ground as before. Uh, the tree is the bright red orange as before, and it's very dark, so it's hard to tell kind of the passage of time. Uh, the tree seems to be in the same condition that you left it. Um, there's the small knot in the front, and that seems to be all that's there. There's no animals or creatures that seem to be around the tree currently. Oh, this out. Okay, it's not Kelly, you gotta remind me, because we also told them about like the magical experiments they were doing on people. What did they want us to do about that? 
Who, the Astral Knights or the Cimarron Guard? The Cimarron, like, council, remember? The council. We told we them sh- about the... They saw in my brain that, like, people were getting turned into, like, donkey monsters. Um, they didn't really say much about it. Um, other than that seems scary and spooky and wrong. Um, it was just kind of part of them realizing that, yes, there's a bad guy doing bad things down there. They didn't really tell you, like, oh, you need to fix this, or whatever. Hey, uh, at her, a quick question. Yeah. Did did you give the eye of Aquinas to uh, Cloud Strife? I didn't have the eye. You did. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so it is. It would be raining still, unless Adhara handed it off. I did not have the eyeball. You do. I thought Orbo had it. Or- that's Maybe that's right. I forgot to bring it up. Orbo gave it to Adhara when getting brought back to life. Or. Er, Oh, was I supposed to give it to Cloud Strife, or was I supposed to keep it with me? Uh, the plan was, if they cured you and you didn't die, to, to hand it over. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I would have given it to Cloud Strife. Okay. So he took it and probably put it in some safe somewhere. Secret. The, the big idea was, uh, we didn't know if you were going to be able to come to the tree, and we thought it would be smart to not just bring the dude what he wants I, and say, yeah. you can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. We wanted to make sure you survive. Yeah, I should have brought that up. I forgot to. Hey, no problem. Bring it up. All right, then. Uh, yeah. How would you guys like to approach the tree? Well, who has some torches? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what exactly. Yeah, yeah I got torches. Because they I have torches. I can start handing them out. I've got ten of them. Why do we need torches? To burn this tree down. I mean, I can just take a flaming sword to it. I'm just trying to remember what the council said. Because they basically said, like, don't fight him for some reason. I want to check if we try to die. They said don't fight. Uh, Well, if the cheese kids are in there, we don't want to set fire to the... Yeah, but if these kids are in there, they're kind of screwed. Wow. I want to look for tracks. Yeah, look for tracks. Let's figure out where Pachi's kids are. All right, let's get some survival in there. Hi. I, uh, Hi. Let read let's it. all do it. My favorite terrain is forest. Does this count as forest? This is indeed forest. I would say if it doesn't, then we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it lie. does something. Okay, I have a Cash question. What does it say? Oh, you know what? Holy moly, I have to read this? Okay, I'll read it. This is the whole point of being a ranger. Uh, yeah. Alright. My proficiency bonus is doubled. Alright, so I get plus two to whatever I roll. Holy it doesn't moly. matter. Alright. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Perfect 20. He's my kids. Yeah. <laughs> I need my children. Uh, you... It, it is painfully obvious that there are footprints that lead straight to and straight from the knot in the tree. Yeah, but I, I get to know the numbers, their exact numbers. Oh, their I see. sizes and how long ago these tracks were. Wow. Um, so it looks like uh, some of these tracks are about a week old, and uh, it seems to be about the size of four humanoids. Um, and they seem to be going in. You also notice those same footprints going out. Um, aside from that, you also notice, um, you can, you can kind of tell that, well, you're not dumb, you're a survivalist, you're a natural explorer. You can absolutely tell that some of these footprints are footprints from Orbo, Adhara, and Gronson. Um, however, there is an ex- there's an extra two sets of footprints that you are not familiar with. Um, anything longer than a week, I would guess, would probably be kind of torn apart to an extent, or not uh, not as easy to find. Um, but you can kind of tell that there's a few other faint tracks, but you can tell that there are two, two sets of footprints that are both um, Slan in nature. Slan? 
Slahan, the lizard people. Lizard. All right, there's been a lot of lizards going through here. Oh, is Kerpan here? Yeah. Kerpan was here. Yeah, Kerpan but he didn't was back. here. But that's only one pair. Well, what if he came back again? Well, then. I mean, he could have come back again. That's a possibility. Looking for water? All right, so there's not like. Uh, yeah, so the extra yeah. set's in there, is what I see. Probably. There is what? So that extra, the unknown set. There's the slon going in and out, and then there's another set that goes in and out. That's or also just slon, in. yes. But it seems like a different foot right, to you. The two separate lizard right. people went in and out. So according to the footprints, there's nobody in there. No, just one. So there's four sets of footprints going in and out, and then one pair of the slime going in. Okay. I got you. Uh, there's a lizard in there, everybody. Yeah, there you go. A lizard, a slon. We used to adventure with a slon. Could be in there. I mean... The only issue is if we go in there, we know we can shut the door. <laughs> and that would be bad. Well, if you only see that there's one lizard that's in there, and that's it, then it means that before us, your kids would have had to have been taken in here way before us and have their tracks already gone. Do you want to risk that and try to go and save them in there? Or do you think they might be somewhere else? This is all I got. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I made a promise of if we think Poxy's kids might be in there, I'm going in. If you think so. Yeah, we got to save Pachi's kids. Okay. All right. I'm jamming to this music, Kelly. You know, I just noticed the drums, and at first I thought someone was like slapping their belly whenever Kelly was talking. <laughs> no, it's a song just called Blackbird. Like, Bird, fleshy sounds, sounds like. Wild. All right, so uh, yeah, there's there's the tree there. Yeah, I, can... I don't remember how to get in. Can I go into it? We have to do something with the knot. Yeah, so mm -hmm. as, as you kind of walk up to the the doorway, or what you know was the door, doorway, at some point, um, there's a small indent. Um, like something could be seated into it. Hmm. How did we get in here before? Did we use one of these fruits? Kerpan got in last time. Yeah, he like picked a lot. I thought we had to cut open a fruit and like stick it in the knot or something. I don't remember. Yeah, I'll try it. It's no, been I, like 50 sessions. I pick up an owl and I shove it in the door hole. You pick up one of the, uh, one of the fruits? Yeah. So he said, yeah. Um, so here, I'll, I'll help, help refresh minds a little bit. This oh, the star the fruit. fruit, yeah. And uh, the fruit is, yeah, it's star-shaped, and the indent to the doorway is also small and star-shaped. Pretty sure the last time I was a dog, so I didn't really have to deal with this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I shove a fruit into the door. All right, um, the pulp kind of uh, smushes like an orange on the outside. Revealing the uh, star-shaped seed on the inside. As the star-shaped seed is kind of forced into the hole, the knot nice. begins to twist and opens into an arched way. Um, the stench of death and decay immediately uh, kind of permeates from the hole, um, and you can see a dark 
winding staircase down. Here we go. Yep, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you know? Royan, as uh, you guys start to head in, uh, Royan looks at you all and says, uh, "Should we, uh, should we wait out here or go with you?" Uh, the uh, Astral Knights can guard the door. You guys come on in. <laughs> Yeah, and if you need something to do, like, gather up all these fruits and just, like, burn them. Alright, so the Astral Knights are gonna go burn the fruits, and the... Get some of the pit stone. If the door locks, unlock the door. Okay. Yeah, we're using the pit. Alright, and then the... The Cimarron Guard, the are they doing anything? Do you guys They're coming with us. They're coming with us. They're going in with you? Okay. Alright. Wait, one question before we go in, guys. Do we want to tell them if we're not out in like 12 hours or something to burn the fucking tree down? Yeah. About like one hour or 30 about minutes. Two hours. If we're taking two hours, we're dead. Well, that's what I'm saying. Two hours is a more reasonable time than 12 hours. Well, yeah, the, thing is the, the Lich can kill us in like a second. So if we go in there, meet up with the Lich in, like, a minute, and get killed in a second, we don't need more than 30 minutes. It's fair. Yeah, but... Okay. okay. Maybe it's all an, hour. Good. an hour. One hour. One exactly. Hour. This is gonna be a simple mission. Get in, look for the kids, get the kids, get the fuck out. There's a... Oh, I tell them what to expect down there. There's these two asshole wizards who can't die. <laughs> uh, there's like a jail cell full of mutated people being turned into mountainers. There's a mummy's tomb, and then like up north, there's where you go. Oh, and there's also these string traps by like all the entryways. So watch your step. Look for those tra traps every single entryway. Yeah, there were traps in all the entryways. Okay. That sounds right. Um, all right. Well, let's Sounds good. let's uh, toss everyone down then. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah. Let's get yeah. that music out of the water. Let's swap it yeah. to. Yeah. What is it? We want spooky music. Where's my spooky music? Um, looking for Cavern of Lost Souls. There we go. Cavern of Lost Souls. <laughs> mm, drippy. So drippy. All right, let's find these fucking kids. <laughs> All right, so uh, the the sp spiral staircase goes down, um, and you are met with the cavern as before. There's large roots uh, kind of protruding from the walls, and you can see um, a couple of things in your peripheral. Um, above you, you see the same trap as before, where there's uh, multiple little holes in the ground. Um, beneath you, you see the tripwire from before. Um, in Orbo, I believe you are the only one that went this way, but uh, you would remember that this is where uh, yeah. you saw some kind of cells or something. Yeah, the slave pens are over here. Right. Um, to the right, as before, there is the mummy, the mummy chambers. <laughs> and then to the left is uh, that humble abode of yeah. uh, the uh, guy that you killed who came back. Yes, um, and, and where his checklist and all of his personal effects were. Right. Uh, now, you do notice that it seems eerily quiet. Too quiet. And let's go ahead and get some initiative, just so we can kind of get a, a general turn order figured out. Oh boy! Huzzah! Up in England, we're going. I gotta quit my tracker. <laughs> that's a lot of skill. You fools. I don't ever get to play the damn game. <laughs> huh. 
Nice. Whoa. Get, get boned, Lich. <laughs> <More that. laughs> I even beat the the Lich in initiative. That's uh -huh. great. Um, is there a way to set initiative quietly? Yeah, uh, you set all rolls to. Um, you gotta whisper. Whisper. That's too much effort. We'll, I'll just. We'll still I'll just see his, his 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 initiative. Yeah, he'll on still there. show up in initiative. Yeah, Unless he's that. on the GM layer. Yeah, we you can, can put him on the GM. GM and we'll stay here. You'll see him, and we okay. won't. Eh, I don't care. I mean, it's, it's a little late now. Yeah, it's fine. You, you guys will see what happens. Um, all right. Yeah. So then we'll start with Pachi. Pachi. Unless you guys want to tell Kelly. stories again. I've had my turn. Oh, yeah, because you... Connor was a fool. Mm -hmm. I can't he didn't believe it. His token. Uh, it makes me sick yep. to my stomach. When you do it Thursday, Kelly, I'm just gonna have your character die. <laughs> Immediately dies. Immediately dies. All right, do we want to? Let's do a roll off with Pachi and Orba then. Pachi. D twenty, baby. We got a fourteen and a. Oof. A cheese with that natural twenty. All right, yeah. Uh, any any conspiring that you would like to do? Go ahead and do that conspiring, and then uh, we'll get up and go go into the uh, actual turn orders. So the slides are that way. Are we gonna be? Let me grab. Loud or quiet? That's up to you guys. Well, if it's deadly quiet in here, I, I consider keeping my silence if at all possible. All right. I feel like we should just be fast and loud. All right. Well, I have both had other opinions, but... That's all I need to hear. So I start walking this way. Then I yell, top of my bird lungs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I go, Chidia. Parashu. Barabi. Chidia in the house. You hear, um, like a, a chirp. <laughs> From the dis in the distance, uh, you can definitely tell that it came from down this way, this hallway. Oh, I'm gonna sprint down there. How far did I move? All right. Uh, what is your passive perception? Well, warn them all about the rope. <laughs> Oh, he, he, that's right. She, she's aware of the rope, so you would easily jump over it then. Um, all right, yeah. So now you can kind of see over to the side, uh, just a little bit in the distance. There is a stone outcropping that is uh, kind of crafted instead of a, a, a cavern inside. And uh, you definitely see a hooded figure off in the distance, um, who has been kind of alerted by the sound and is heading your way. Uh... Alright, well then I won't double run. Alright. I can barely see, like, the... A little bit of the name. The side <laughs> of, like, somebody's name or something <laughs> right there. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, uh, like, wave everybody to come this way, and I'll take a neat, draw my bow, and hold my action till I see what that is, friend or foe. All right. Um, who's next, then? We'll swap to Orbo. Boneless action, I turn into the dire wolf. All right. We have wolf Orbo. Exactly. Are you able to toss in that thing, the uh, that the token? Cool. If not, I yes. can toss you in. Okay, you got it. Doesn't have my speed. My speed is feet. And I'll put your uh. Sorry. Ah. Step carefully over six. Oh, it's that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the um, same guy. 
Uh, that was my boneless and my moon. Uh, you can see a hooded, hooded man, same one that you've seen before, that seems to be kind of uh, the, I guess, creeped keeper of sorts. Um, he has a dagger drawn, and uh, seems to be kind of alert, looking your direction. All right. But he can't really see me because I'm like behind this crop in the rock, right? Yeah, he's he's looking that way, but he doesn't see you specifically. Just kind of sees things. Let me see if that was my full speed. It's mostly the sounds that kind of uh, alerted him. I guess I'll just kind of like ready myself, and if he comes at us, I'll try and jump him. Okay. All right. We'll jump to the knights. The knights are going to um, kind of head this way. So let me jump into there. They're mostly following uh, Pachi, just because Pachi has been in the Cimarron Guard before. And they feel kind of most familiar. Taking orders and following along with Bachi. So one here. One here. And then they're kind of uh, swarming the area. They don't really see what's going on yet, uh, but they can see that you guys are tense. And so they're on the lookout. They're weapon strong, ready for whatever comes their way. With that, we'll jump to at heart. Cool. So I see them drawing their weapons, so I'm going to draw my weapon. Uh, and I'm also going to follow. Um, I'll double move, I guess, so I can get up here with my good buddy. Or, but, oh, this fool. <laughs> Everyone has the same reaction. It's like, oh, that bad guy. This guy. This guy's an um, absolute tool. So that was 45. Move another 15. I'll stay, actually. I'll stay right here. Um, And I think that's it for me. All right, and then Gronson. Well, I'm going to try to keep up with everybody else. I'll move right in here. That's like a double move. All right. Yeah, so everyone can see that. Uh... Gronson, you are able to see, I believe, better than anyone else. Um, you can kind of see into the hallway, and you can see some kind of creature slumped over in one of the cells. Yeah, something... I don't know what it is, but it's it's over there in that cell, and it, it looks like it's not doing well. <laughs> Um, okay. Is there anything else you would like to do? I think we're we're good. I don't have a... I mean, I'm, there's other things I could do, but I'll save it. Alright. I need to move some dudes around. Cool, and then... All right, uh, so the hooded figure in the front uh, d definitely sees Edhara and calls out to him and says, uh, Stop! Don't come any further! Uh, wh what are you doing in here? We're just here for the kids. The, the kids? What kids? The, the kids? I look at Pachi like, you wanna, you wanna tell him about the kids? Can I see the guy? <laughs> you wanna tell him about the kids? Yeah, um, yeah, you can, you can see him. All right, I say, bit. these kids, and I release my arrow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, <laughs> yep. You're able to get a good shot with your longbow. Um, with the arrow piercing into the hooded figure, who lets out kind of a shriek and uh, says, Too bad they're dead. Oh! <gasps> But he did know I had more than one arrow. <laughs> um, he kind of retreats a little bit. And we'll leave it at that. Um, we will move to... Yeah. So... And we'll jump back to Pachi. Pachi! Uh-uh. He's got to be lying. I can see his toes. So <laughs> yeah, that works. Oh, so, right at his Achilles heel. He was way less like nonchalant this time. What do you mean? Like last time, he didn't really care about anything because he knew if he died, he'd just like come back. Like we were killing him, and he's like, none of this matters. <laughs> right, right. And then he like came back and he was like, see, like crisscross applesauce, and he pooped his pants. I'm like, this guy's a loser. <laughs> All right, uh, your second arrow um, is is a successful shot as well, um, significantly injuring him. Um, he kind of stumbles a little bit, uh, and but like kind of uh, regains his composure and seems to be fiddling with something um, on the door to the side. Kind of, not frantically, but uh, in a more rushed kind of manner. And we'll jump to... Oh, I know what happened. Oh, sorry, Pachi, did you want to do anything else? I was moving forward. I don't remember where I started. Was I... Uh, You were right here, I believe. All right, well, then that's all I got right there. All right, cool. Uh, So, yeah, you can can see him in the corner up here. Um, He is absolutely... 100% 100% fiddling around with uh, with some kind of like jail key cells, something like that. Um, Orbo, oh, since I moved your other you character to the GM time. layer, it, hold on. Uh, if I put you back. You just add the token. I'll just okay. add the token, that's right. Either way. There you go. We'll move you. Uh, Boom. All right, easy enough. All right, so All go right. for it. Um, I'll go. I guess before I do anything, so like I'm a dog, so I know what like Pachi smells like, right? Yes. And I assume that means I would also know like, like I basically see if I can smell like essence of Pachi and figure out if her kids are actually here or not. Hmm. Sure. Um, I, I think that's reasonable. I mean, you are... Y- you would be able to smell something like that, I would think. Um, let's let's see... Let's do, like, a, like nature and see if... Uh, see how you do with it. Wouldn't it just be perception because I'm sniffing? I guess it would be perception and be smell. You're right. Let's do perception. All right, I have an advantage because I'm a dog. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You definitely can smell, and uh, you definitely also smell other, uh, like you get a whiff of what Pachi kind of smells like, but uh, kind of amplified. I smell more of Pachi. <laughs> yes, more yeah. of Pachi. Um, <laughs> almost like there's three smaller versions of Pachi. Just real quick, I'm gonna like look down or around the doorway and just see if there's like anything there. Just with my face eyeballs. Where are you? Uh, at this doorway into this room. Right here? Yeah. Okay. But before I walk in base, I'm making sure there ain't another trip wire. Oh, gotcha. No, there's no trip wire. It's just a doorway. I um, can from your view, you can absolutely see um, a 
sick, sickly disgusting moth-like creature. Um, it is absolutely 100% not alive, um, and has not been alive for quite some time. Um, there's like, you know how a when a roach dies, it kind of curls up and uh, becomes kind of calcified to an extent. Um, this is kind of what the moth-like creature looks like. Um, it's kind of laying on its back in the jail cell with its all of its arms and legs uh, curled up in its death pose. Cool. And as a wolf, this thing reeks. Hey, you. So is he, is uh, Dorothy over here, is he like got his back turned trying to open up this cage? Yes, he is uh, frantically trying to open a cage. Cool, I'm gonna jump on his back. <laughs> All right, um, as you, you can also see a small chiclet in the I back. Um, oh, hold on, let me fix something really quickly. Hold, please. Holding my table with both hands, Cal. Um, let me go to edit. <laughs> Achi, two of your kids are alive. I say to no one because I'm a dog. Uh oh, what happened? Are you able to move him still? Uh, yes, but now my character sheet is loading. Ah, my bad. Is it good now? Uh, let me try to open it again. I was trying to get the view fixed. Oh, now it's good. Okay, cool. Um, so you're you're jumping on him and attacking? Yes. Do I have advantage because he's... Yes. He is, uh... He is... I give him that big old dog hug that Most Pitbull's give. on a DC 13 strength save. <laughs> of course, I forgot about the strength save crap. Feed the dog. All right, and then uh, I guess he's gonna roll let the big dog eat. Dog's hungry. Uh, let's go character sheet. This guy has the honor of being killed by me twice. Well, let's make it three times. I was about to say when we encounter him on the way out. Yeah. All right, and he needs to run a strength save. Yeah. Get oh, down on the ground. He is not <laughs> prone. Um, his keys fly into the air um, next to you. Where is prone? That's dominated. Oh, no, Drowning. No, that. Exhausted. Wait, drowning is a status? Yeah. What is it, cell phone? There's also frightened. There's a weird ninja looking thing. Prone, there we are. Cool. He is now knocked prone on the ground. Make a good police dog. Um, the, behind the bar is uh, one of Pachi's children. Um, Karshu kind of uh, sees what's happening and uh, frantically kind of heads to heads your way to the door. All right. Well, I'm, I'm doing my best, but I will let out an affirmative bark. I'm do my best lassie. Oh, wait. I'm going to say it when they can just do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The uh, Cimarron Guardsmen uh, notice something in the distance um I wonder who it could be. <laughs> and yeah gee i wonder who it is or what it is um so they are actually going to kind of stand guard over here um in preparation for the worst um except for rybar who will come your way i'll, I'll let i'll bring one to protect we'll do five ten Double run here, and then I'll, I'll just do a double run over here to see if and let them help if they need help. All right, if you guys need help, um, let's jump to Edhara. All right, well, here and my good buddy Orbo start bork borking. I'm gonna start moving on uh, since 25. Oh, I can get right up on him. And get that good smack with advantage. This man is not coming back. 
I mean, he is, but... Let me have this one, Connor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Is that gonna hit? That is not gonna hit, unfortunately. Uh, well, okay. Oh, wait, I can bite. Claws, bite? Which one is it? Uh, claws. Oh, yeah, that one. That one will hit. Six slamshing damage. So as Adhara sinks his claws into uh, the hooded figure, the hooded figure collapses on the ground, um, and as before, kind of uh, the his body not vanishes, but kind of disintegrates, no. and there's nothing left but the cloak. Adhara just kind of growls a little bit, but not so much because he sees the kid so he's not going to try and scare the kid he's just kind of like <laughs> a frustrated like Ur. and pats Orbo on the head <laughs> nice <clears throat> that's all for Adhara um can you roll perception really quickly well, I thought you were going to have me roll animal handling to pat him on the head uh, <laughs> no I'm not that all my kids animals <laughs> wait Nine. hold on is it hearing or smell it is sight never mind yeah, it is. It is eyes. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. So we'll jump cool. to Gronson. I'll join the the fray. Running on down here. I don't think I can <clears throat> get much further than that. You, and I see the moth like creature. Yes, you see the moth like <laughs> creature. But it's just creature. a corpse. You see um, a a small chick uh, to the top. Uh, yep. You also see, if I'm seeing correctly, uh, you see one down here, and then you also see um, what seems to be a slan, uh, like the silhouette of a slan, uh, kind of mm -hmm. like, not like sitting down uh, with their back on the wall. Uh, in that cell, yeah. In this cell, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. I see we've got at least two chicks, but. And I see a, another. The salon that you tracked in here, uh, Pachi, I think I see them too, so. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to save everyone. Nice. Alright, well. Not this, not this moth thing, whatever it is. Can't save that. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, I'm done. All right. We're going to get some things happening in the background real quick. So. Good. Can I run this? Let's do that. Melf alert. Melf alert. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, this dude doing some things. What else have we got here? And then... <laughs> Let's see, what's the distance here? Sorry, my dudes. No, it's no fun to uh, not be involved in a fight. No, I'd rather not be involved in this fight. <laughs> There's a reason why we got a bunch of people to. Yeah, no, take Kelly, the I'm totally one. fine with you having, with you like fighting yourself right now. We're just gonna <laughs> chill. We're happy with this situation. Yeah, it's great. The longer they can stay alive, the less that we're gonna have to fight Abazul. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, cool. So the rest happens there. Um, all right, so from the, from the distance, um, you 
you can kind of uh, hear like a, a chittering sound from this this uh, this cell. Um, outside of that, the rest of the cells are quiet, um, except for the two chicks coming from these two. And with are even the babies from Kirby, aren't they? <laughs> they might be. I'm looking it up. I want to see him so bad. All right, Pachi, it is your turn. Fine. Yes. yes. Proper token. That is. That's <laughs> absolutely the token. My keys. <laughs> There's I'm way more drawings of the babies than I thought there would be. I know, right? Oh, somebody made a waifu version. <laughs> what? That right, yeah, belongs in off topic or else tilfs, please. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm posting in tilfs. <laughs> the the MILF Dyna Blade. <laughs> Things Whoa. I never expected to hear <laughs> on, on stream. There's the worse, actually. There's more like never mind. You don't need to know what else there is. I, I, don't, I don't want to know. There's always <laughs> worse and we don't need to know about it right now. This one guy dropped Dyna Blade is a man. How do you get that one? <laughs> um, yeah, so Remember, you, you uh, are able to see two of your children, and uh, in the final cell is a mutated uh, being that looks very similar to the moth-like creature in the first cell. Uh, but this one is alive, and um, it seems to have um, like yellowish feathered wings. Um, it is Connor, you monster, or tell you monster. It is trying. To, yeah, Connor. It is trying desperately <laughs> to leave its cell, um, but it's constantly kind of banging into the walls uh, in any, any general area. It, it's, it seems to be uh, completely oblivious to how it would get out of the cell. I'm reporting you for child endangerment. I have to make bad guys actually bad, though. So. Disconnect. Oops. Oh, I'll save that one for last. <laughs> and I'll try the bars on Barati's cage. Are you trying to break the bar open? Oh, well, is it locked? Yeah. So all of the, um, they all seem to be locked with like a padlock, um, that needs some kind of key mechanism. I well, flex my wings and try and rip it open with my motherly strength. All right, let's uh, let's get a strength roll for that then. Uh. All right, yeah, you you pull and tug, uh, but to no avail. Barati also tries to tug at the uh, the bars, but uh, is not having much luck. Um, Barati looks at you and says, uh, "The the creepy man had had a key." Maybe, maybe you can find that. I, I bark at the key that's right beside me. <laughs> right. Uh, how much movement do I have? Work. <laughs> I don't have any movement, or maybe one square. So I'm done. <laughs> I point at the key. At Grunson, say, "There's the key." Here's the key. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> said, yes. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to kind of like make like a nodding motion to like my back and kind of be like, you know, lay them on me. And then Kelly, if it's possible, I'd like to defer my action. And once they put the babies on me, I'm going to like sprint out of here. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can kind of put you so, afterwards. Then. Yeah. Just save my 100 movement speed for when I'm locked and loaded. All right, that that works. We'll jump to the knights then. Um, let's see. Apparently, the shark in Kirby is just named Joe. Wow. The Oh, whoops, I accidentally rolled a third one, but the third one didn't need to be rolled. 
Alright, so what's oh my God, going on? <laughs> Um, let's see. I have too many things open. Cool, and then um, they are going to try and fight, of course. So let's get some fighting going on. I really like the sound of somebody eating like a really gross sandwich. <laughs> Are you talking about the sound from the thing in the back? Yeah, like the crunching sound. The foley is really good. It scares me. <laughs> and then we'll have this guy here. Try and do some swinging. All right, and then once that happens, that's it. Yeah, so... That's it, okay, cool. Um, we'll jump to Adhara then. Sorry, I forgot I was on mute. Um, okay, so, go. uh, I know Pachi pointed to the key for Gronson. Uh, so I'm gonna let Gronson take the key. I'm just gonna try and strength this door open. Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, the same that was what I was talking about. about. It's the same it's, number. It's both the three. Okay, that's fine then. It's a man. That's it embarrassingly like... bad. What? <laughs> the fan art. It's uh, offensive. You mean beautiful? <laughs> that's the kind of tilts we're looking for. Maybe, yeah. maybe they did actually beat the Dino Blade campaign, so they didn't get to the part where you find out she's a mom. So they do just think Dino Blade's like some cool dude bird. Maybe so. Well, no, actually, out. the the caption says it's a bird lesbian Dino Blade, so I guess it's a girl. All right. Very butch. Um, Fifteen. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're able to brute force your way into the door. Um, as you as you do that, um, you hey, kiddo. Yeah, you <laughs> smash you smash the door uh, open. Um, well, I'm not trying to scare the kid. Well, the, I mean, you gotta you take some. The kid's head you off. gotta take some real strength to actually break open those <laughs> things. Uh, but yeah, so the the door kind of slams open, and uh, there is a bewildered and uh, terrified young chick, uh, kind of okay. eager to escape. Um, yeah, there's... and Horrid will definitely be like, "Hey, we we got your mom. Your mom's here to save you." Um, our friend right there, he's a nice big dog. You can just go sit on him and he'll get you out of here. Um, the child is kind of frightened, but nods and uh, does, does just that and hops on to Orvo. Begin to engage warp speed thrusters. A loud humming starts to emit from my body. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into a rocket. Make the nitrous. Uh huh. All right, anything else? That's all for me. All right, Gronson. All right. Seeing that I have the key at my feet, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to move to the cell with Brody and open the gate, or at least try the key. Okay. Um, Brody uh, kind of lets out a yelp of excitement and immediately heads to uh, Pachi and gives Pachi like a hug and like, you know, excited and exasperated at the same time. Ooh. Nice. I hug back. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Too much affection. 
my god. That was way too much emotion for me. Spam motion. I left it to your mind. <laughs> we all know Connor hates seeing emotion in know, his right? D and D games. I hate. I just want anger, and hatred. <laughs> There's two emotions. No, three emotions: anger, hatred, and drunk. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> right, we got one last one. Yeah. Anything else, Cronson? Can I use my bonus action to just open the next one? Yeah, you can. You can head that way. Uh. Oh, then I look over there and it's a moth-like creature. And I'm like, yes, and that one's is, my kid. It is uh, like feverishly uh, flying around, um, making all sorts of racket, trying to kind of escape the the cell. But she is this really your kid? Doesn't look like the other two. Well, it was. There Bar- is somewhere Barani in looks there. Looks at you and says, uh, "They did something to to Chidia. I I don't know what it." I don't know what it was, but now, now things are different. I opened the cage anyway, just hoping that the moth will find a way out and stand back a little ways. Um, yeah, so it immediately flies Jeez. out. And immediately tries to kind of escape from outside. I feel that. Towards the outside. And it's kind of feverishly flapping its wings. It's sort of like, it's like a a large moth. And uh, when I say large moth, I mean like the size Mm -hmm. of Pachi or like the size of, uh, I guess, a a small kid. Um, not yeah. not the size of a a normal moth, uh, mm. unless there are normal moths that are human sized. Yeah, that's first of all that's terrifying. Second of all, I really didn't <laughs> want to know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it proceeds to uh, start kind of flying out, uh, trying to escape. <clears throat> did um did Pachi load me up with the other kid? I mean, it's not my turn, so I couldn't. I mean, I guess after the hug, what happened to child number two? The child can move if you would like to. You, you must, you'll have to let it know, though. Well, I can't yeah, speak. I said, go to the nice wolf. He'll take you out of here. Yeah, before the lich goes, I want to skadoodle if we'll be right behind kids you. are loaded up. We will be right behind you. All right. So I got both kids. Kind of my good to go, Bert. Yep. You can I've got handlebars installed. They shouldn't fall off. You can get the <laughs> heck out of there. Handlebars installed. So for double run, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't step on the rope. So eleven and twelve. Is the tree still open? The tree is still open, but as you head that way, mm-hmm. you immediately notice. Um, one, a um, collapsed uh, cultist robe to the side here. I got him again. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you also notice an injured guard who seems to be in some serious pain. And then you see uh, another that is valiantly fighting um, the lich himself. And- well, I can't cast spells as a dog, and I'm already using all my action to run. So, or was there more, Kelly? I'm sorry. No, that was it. That was just letting you know what you see as you run into the main area. Uh, yeah, I see it, and uh, I keep, keep running. Going. I'm out of here with the kids. All right. Um, was, you are like, able uh, to escape outside of the uh, outside of the tree. Well, I mean, obviously he knows I'm here. So I guess as I go, I'll kind of like give the bark for like. I'll just start barking like nonstop, like everybody go. <laughs> like we got the kids. Bail. All right. No, I'm good. And uh, we'll let Abzul and all the baddies kind of take a moment and then uh, we'll call it quits there because it is at 830. 
um, we'll pick up later. So let's uh, let's see what this bad boy is doing over here. Um, let's get some. Uh, let him just do this simple stuff. Cool. Constitution. Oh, the down. I probably got got by like the ore. The what? Um, I'm just saying stuff. Now I've got to find the. A ledge really hit for six damage. Yeah, that was a pretty lame move. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Imagine you're like like level twenty. You're fighting this ledge. It's the big bad guy. You take six cold damage. Yeah, it was <laughs> only six cold damage from yeah, the they're like, Yeah, they're like, you mean sixty? No, no, just six. <laughs> six. I'm just a witch. I'm, I'm just a little witch. witch. I'm just a little witch. <laughs> then I'm a, so I'm a nerd who stayed alive forever, so I could keep studying. <laughs> I studied so long and so hard, but all I know is to do six cold damage. See, that's the thing about liches. They spend their whole life trying to become a lich, and they never actually live life. It's deep. Damn. Yeah, they're, they're big so right. immediately. So right. So, so true, bestie. <laughs> they're like people who get their doctorate, and they get out of school, and they're 37 years old. Yeah, and they're like, ah, I am an adult, but I never did anything. So yeah. I'm the saddest adult. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> this episode brought to you by Fuck the system. Bachelor Degree College. <laughs> Hooray. All right, cool. Uh, so we are done here. So we'll pick up with uh, the rest of the party's escape and or death. And, and or, or yeah. <laughs> We'll see. You guys double them. And, uh, I mean, I can double run, but I can't triple run. I will go ahead and I'm award some XP just because uh, it is the end of the session. I know we're mid-fight, but that could sway the tides of things. Ah, I appreciate it. Um, um, so it, right now we're looking at um, 450 XP for um, knocking out the cult fanatic. Um, and then... Or saving the kids will give another 200. Are we splitting this or is this for everybody? Each. Each oh, of you cool. gets 650. Oh. All right, nice. At level up. Nice. Level up, baby. I ain't get shit. <laughs> I'm going to be level two next to me. You better watch out. Plus one HP. Wait, Chad Har, what level are you? I'm now level five. Okay, I was gonna say if you're level six, how did I not get killed? Oh, only level five because I missed quite a couple meets. Sweet. When do I level up again? Advancement. Beyond the first what level. Do I, what do I, get? I guess. I guess. Uh, who's the? I guess Orbo would be the highest, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can, I can level spells. Because I think yeah. I think technically Gronson is like one or two. Sessions behind. No, just one, right? One. Well, the thing is, Gronson missed all the XP from the first adventure because that's right. He was like late to the to the party because and... his first character died. Yeah, because yeah. the first character beefed it. He didn't Bended. miss a meet. He, he wasted like one sliver of XP. One yeah, character. but then it was a whole day. Like yeah. he wasn't there. So don't worry. It's a long ways to level six. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta start giving. I'm very close to five, XP. though. I I forgot. I should, like remind me. Usually, uh, I I'm bad about giving XP for social things. So like, let me know if I forget, and you guys have like some cool disposition you got it, boss. that happens. Yeah, I gave up. That's why I just do milestones now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to do like a little bit based on like events and things like that. No, I get it for here because like it's not like a like a linear plot. So it's hard to set a milestone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I um, think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, oh, oh. So let's run oh, that oh. outro.
Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. As always, our shout outs. Uh, first with Tabletop of Choice is Roll20, and it's doing pretty decent today, so good, like, happy. Um, music and Ambience is Tabletop Audio and Incompetech. Um, all of our battle map and world map assets are from Two Minute Tabletop and Dungeon Draft. Um, items, armor, and emblems are from GameIcons.net, and the rest of the miscellaneous artwork that you can find in different things um, will be in the description as well. Um, you can keep in touch with us by joining us on Discord. Uh, there should be a link somewhere for that. Um, we stream every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Thanks. See you next week. Now you later. And fuck the system. <laughs> <laughs>